internet welcome back to my channel today i have an inku unboxing video i think this is august yes it's august inku's a lot more ahead of all the other boxes for some reason so when i keep track i know that inku's ahead and that everyone else is probably like a month or two behind but um let's get right into the unboxing i feel like inku boxes have been improving like the first time i unboxed it wasn't so good and i read a lot of your comments also stating the same thing and now i feel like they're really um picking up their games so let's put aside these two i think these are pens and pencils i'll try it out later actually it's a highlighter and let's get into it there's like a lot of stuff in here so these look like stickers yeah, individual stickers. I heard somebody use a term to describe these sort of stickers when I was watching a desk setup video, um, like tear stickers or drop stickers or something, where you're basically, like, you can see how the stickers are all just individually cut, and then you just kind of peel the backing off and stick it down. Um, these look really cute. I wish that this was on washi paper. This looks like it's on regular paper. I feel like washi paper just kind of, I don't know, it has this really nice handcrafted look. But it's still really cute, Not, don't get me wrong. And then we have Sagi Cafe, so a rabbit cafe. Okay, oh my gosh, you got like carrot ice cream, um, some carrot like milkshake, and then a little swirly cake with I assume some carrot bits in it. Okay, and okay, it's like, it's literally like a flip book. So there's two different designs. You have this like beautiful pink one, which is very similar to the cover. And then you have this white one so cute Mishia gare mogu mogu mio so cute um and then this one looks like a letter set with a little like dog and sunflowers and i like this pattern up here as well and this would be the envelope dog sitting in a tub so cute We've got, uh, I've got something similar to this. It's like an eraser. It's like a lipstick eraser. I wish this was actually lip balm. Call me crazy. I feel like this would be so cool if it was. Pretty sure this is a glue stick because I have something very similar that I think came in a Zen Pop box a while back. And surprisingly, glue here is really good because um, I remember running out of my glue sticks and it took a couple days for me to have new glue sticks delivered to my house. And so in the meantime, I was like, oh, what am I going to use? And so I defaulted to, if it was a pink version, it's the one where the penguin is taking off all its, like, black and grey bits, so it looks like a white penguin. The glue is quite thin, so it looks like a highlighter, and the glue comes out really thin. Like, when I saw it and it came out, it almost looked like not much glue was coming out, and I'm like, oh, this is not going to stick very well, because it just looks... I don't know, you just kind of get the feeling like it wouldn't be good glue. This glue is good. It's like really good for paper craft. Probably not good for sticking like plastics together or anything, but paper craft, that's really good. Okay, so oh, this is a whole thing. So it's, it's like Hello Kitty little Ziploc bags. Mm. This is kind of cool. You can kind of you can see a better picture than I could show, but three sizes, small, medium, large. And so I guess you could just store all sorts of stuff. But I appreciate the Ziploc bag because there were some where I got, which was like stick covers, like um, like this plastic. It would just be, you could close it with a sticker, so I don't think you could reuse it. But I love the fact that you can reuse this one over and over again. But yeah, that is everything in August's Inkle box. I'm actually quite impressed. Let's go try out those pens. Okay, so this first item here, I'm just going to open it up, is a pencil. These pencils um, are so my childhood. So basically, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully. You see how there's like little cartridges? So each one has the shape of this pen, pencil. Um, sometimes I don't know whether I need to go into detail because I feel like most people would get it, but see how this is a pencil, you pop it off and there's another one. And so it's made out of multiple of these. So when the first one um, runs out or gets blunt, then you can just move through. It's kind of a cool concept, but also, I mean, as a kid, I thought this was the best thing ever. As an adult, I would just probably rather a regular pen, but I mostly I use mechanical pens. I only use actual wooden pens when I'm trying to draft or sketch ideas and I just kind of like that free flow effect. But let's uh, give it a shot. I'm not going to lie though, the pencil is actually really nice. It feels a lot like a regular wooden pencil. I quite like it. So I'm definitely going to keep it. And also mine 
this lid is just really interesting to me because usually the lids are much bigger. I like that this is just very minimal. And then this next one is a mild liner. So the mild liners traditionally for me, I use the um, those slanted ones, which are more highlighters. This one's the brush version. So you've got a brush tip here, and then I think you've got, yep, just a marker tip here. I mean, I'm such a big fan of mild liners. I love them to death. So I already know I'm gonna love this one. I love the thin and like, as you can tell, I'm not like the best at scripting or anything like that, but I just love brush pens. Such a nice color as well. So yeah, I am honestly really impressed with this month's Inku box. Really love it. So highly recommend it. Um, hopefully every month they just keep getting better and yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet.